Hi, my name is Angelica, and today I'll be going over how to enter a delivery into Service Tracker. When logged into SACE, select Service Tracker dropdown on your toolbar and click on Delivery. You will see all students on your caseload below, including all services they receive. In the filter section at the top of your page, click on the service code dropdown and select the service code that pertains to your practitioner type. Check the Do Not Include Ended Services box to remove any expired service lines. Select the blue Find box to your left. This will remove the other services from your view, and you will only see the service specific to your practitioner type. The filter selection can also be utilized to search your student by entering in their name and SACE ID. Once you locate the student that you are delivering a service for, select the paper airplane icon. Select the green Add Delivery box. Complete the following fields. Visit date and delivery code. Once you select a delivery code, you may see a time in and time out option above. If not, your total minutes provided field will populate to the right. Diagnostic code will auto-populate. District to bill. NPI. As a reminder, do not use your own NPI. The written prescription on file button applies to occupational and physical therapy as well as orientation and mobility. Plan type. Method of support is optional. Delivery method. School of Attendance, which should reflect the school the student was attending at the time of service. If you are a SACE billing client, you will see a tracking only box. Select this only if directed to do so from an administrator. Comments or case notes are optional. Select the green Save button or the Save and Copy option. Save and Copy will replicate everything you've entered above and prompt you to change the time spent with your student. This is helpful when you have multiple entries a day with a student. Once you've saved your delivery, you will be redirected to the landing page where you will make edits to your delivery by selecting the editing icon. You've now completed your entry. I hope you have found this video helpful. For more information on our quick tip videos, check out our YouTube page.